Hello, my name is Aubrey. Welcome to my April TBR. So I'm filming this video very early. I'm about to travel and visit some family and I'm trying to like get ahead of schedule so I know I have stuff ready to go uh, while I'm gone and when I get back so I'm not stressed trying to film right after traveling, you know what I'm saying? That being said, I think I am on track to finish everything that I wanted to in March this month, meaning that April should be a clean slate. I shouldn't be in the middle of any series. Hopefully I won't have any carryovers. That's kind of exciting. I've really been deliberating on what next fantasy series I want to tackle. I've just finished the Winnowing Flame trilogy. I think I have decided and I really want to try to tackle the First Law trilogy by Joe Abercrombie. I have have just been dying to read Joe Abercrombie for ages and ages. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I'm drawn to this so much, but I, I just am. I've heard fantastic things about it. <laughs> I know it's grimdark, but I've also heard that it has a level of humor to it that I think I'll appreciate, and I just really, really want to get into it. So I have put both the blade itself and before they are hanged on my April TBR. These are, I mean... <laughs> These are nice and short for fantasy books. They're between like 400 and 500 pages, which honestly is a sweet spot for me. Like a book between 300 and 500 pages is the perfect length in my opinion. So I think I will pretty easily be able to read at least one and part of book two, if not just all of book two. I know it's multi POV and a Apparently book one doesn't really have much of a plot anyway. I'm looking forward to seeing what this is all about and letting you guys know my thoughts. So I feel like the first law being kind of my main priority really affected the other books that I put on this list. I was trying to counterbalance the darker grim dark aspects of that series with maybe some lighter, easier books. I don't know. Next up I have Yumi and the Nightmare Painter by Brandon Sanderson. This was one of the secret novels that I did not get to last year. I would really like to get to the rest of these this year, so I do want to be working on that. This one I believe is a love story. I don't know very much else about it as there is no synopsis on the book anywhere. The back says, a person is more than their experiences stacked up like stones. Our best moments are the foundations we use to reach for the sky. Also the illustrations throughout are gorgeous. And I think this one got really really good reviews when it came out. So I've been really excited to read this one. I hope I get to it this month. It looks really beautiful and whimsical so uh, I hope I really enjoy this one. Next I have The Unmaking of June Faro by a Adrian Young. I picked this one for a couple of reasons. One, it's short, which we love to see it, <laughs> but also aesthetically like these stenciled edges really drew me in. It's uh, trying really hard to be spring here. I don't know, the flowers just look so cheerful. This is a kind of contemporary fantasy romance. We have our main character, June Faro, who I believe has a family curse. I imagine this book is going to be about trying to undo said curse. <laughs> because it is so short, I don't think I wanna to know too much else about it. I get kind of an otherworldly, sort of ethereal vibe from Adrian Young's books. They just seem to have that touch of whimsical mystery to her fantasy elements. Next I have Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. I've heard really wonderful things about this first book and not so good things about the second book in this duology. I do still want to give it a try anyway. An enthralling debut fantasy inspired by the legend of Chang Yi's The Moon Goddess, in which a young woman's quest to free her mother sets her on a dangerous path and pits her against the most powerful immortal in the realm. Again, I'm kind of hoping this will feel a little bit lighter and more whimsical to counterbalance the grim dark of First Law. <laughs> Plus, I just think this cover is so pretty and uh, I've been really wanting to read this duology. It just gives me a lot of springtime vibes, you know? Next, I have The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I have not read any Madeline Miller yet and I think that is a crime. Cersei gives me a lot of fall vibes whereas The Song of Achilles gives me a lot of spring and summer vibes. So I would like to read it soon if I don't end up reading it this month. I know it's a tearjerker <laughs> and also that it's very beloved on booktube and book talk and just bookish spaces in general. My mom read it and she loved it so I know I need to get around to it 
sooner rather than later. Unfortunately, I just don't know that much about Greek mythology. Like, I've never been a Greek mythology person. Uh, I've always been more of a grim fairy tale type girl. I'm not very familiar with the original myths and I don't know if I should be before going into this type of thing. You guys can let me know maybe, but yeah, I do really wanna read this sometime soon. All right, and another reading goal that I have this month is that I'd really like to get back into the habit of reading manga. Now, part of the issue is that since my move, all of my manga is in complete disarray. So I thought that I was gonna have enough room for all of my books and all of my manga, and um, I did not. <laughs> As I was loading the shelves, it became clear that I did not have enough space for both. And so all of my manga is just sort of haphazardly stacked in my closet. <laughs> it's just all in like completely disorganized piles and I haven't been able to find anything and like it's just it's all a mess. That has been very frustrating and I haven't really been reading manga because it's a mess and I can't find anything. But I did dig through and I was trying to find just like a volume one of anything. I dug out volume one of Vindland Saga. This is a Viking inspired manga series. I don't know anything else about it other than it gets fantastic reviews. I'm not totally in the mood for this, I'll be honest, but it was the one volume one that I could find. I have decided to give it a try. I have read Planet Tess by this mangaka and I did really enjoy that. So hopefully I will enjoy this also. Like I said, it it gets stunning reviews, like it's it's well beloved in the manga community, so hopefully it will win me over and I will love it as well. All right, well that is it for my April TBR. Please let me know what books you'll be reading in April. I would love to know. If you want to see what books I read in February, I will leave that wrap up right here. Please like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more from me. I hope to see you next time. Bye!